Hello, I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's a quick look at today's top stories. First of all, as we enter day two of the federal government shutdown, we're beginning to understand just what the effects are. Point Park, Little River Canyon, the Cherokee National Forest, all closed. 25 employees at the Chickamauga and Chattanooga National Military Park are out of work. The four employees left may or may not be paid. And we're told half of Tennessee's major agencies will be impacted in the next few days. Already, the Tennessee National Guard is seeing some major changes. More than 1,500 technicians and contract workers are now on unpaid furloughs. Also, low-income moms and children across the state may have trouble getting food. The government's WIC program will only last about eight more days. With people panicking, some grocery stores are already seeing runs on the food supported by the program. Senator Lamar Alexander's local office is now closed because of the shutdown, and Bob Corker's office is running on a skeleton crew. But Jim Tracy and Scott Desjardins both say the shutdown is worth it to try and block Obamacare. A 23-year-old Fort Payne resident made it onto last night's episode of The Voice. Justin Shane was singing Jason Aldean's She's Country. Judge Blake Shelton turned his chair around within seconds of the blind audition. Shelton called other judges idiots for not choosing Chain. Chain told Carson Daly he was in a traumatic motorcycle wreck in 2008 that almost ended his life. While he was recuperating, he decided to use music as inspiration. We'll continue to follow Justin Chain while he's on the show. The head of Volkswagen's Global Works Council is visiting Chattanooga. Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam is slated to meet with Bernd Osserloh today. The two will face off over the battle to bring the United Auto Workers to the local plant. Osterloh is also set to take part in discussions with local employees about setting up a works council. Amazon.com is making plans to hire thousands of workers in the Chattanooga area for the Christmas season. Across the country, the online retailer is hiring 70,000 extra employees for the holidays. That's 40% higher than last year. In fact, seasonal hiring has already started at Amazon's Bradley County facility. The company says seasonal workers are eligible for health care benefits and that many of the jobs lead to long-term positions. Those seeking a spot can apply at AmazonFulfillmentCareers.com. Police say a man killed himself as his trailer was being searched. Deputies were searching 22-year-old Max Zeller's mobile home in Cherokee County, Georgia. Zeller was wanted in DeKalb County, Alabama for the disappearance of his aunt, Felicia Lindsay. When deputies were searching his home, Zeller reportedly ran to a bedroom and shot himself in the mouth. His missing aunt's car was found near the trailer. A school janitor in East Tennessee has been arrested after police say he admitted to using a school copy machine to make counterfeit money. 44-year-old James Terry Chapman had worked at La Follette Middle School in Campbell County for four years. Now he's lost his job, but he's been released from jail on a $5,000 bond. Finally, East Ridge may have a city manager again soon. The city council there voted 3-2 to two to offer the job to Andrew Hyatt. Hyatt is the current city manager of Fairview, Tennessee. He's been offered a $90,000 salary, but he says he'll need time to think about the offer. Turning to weather, today will be mostly sunny with a high near 85 degrees. The low tonight will be around 60. That's our newscast for today. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.